These high-performance Formula One cars attain speeds over 200 miles per hour. This go-kart can only attain speeds just over 30 miles per hour. But this, not this, could change life as we know it. We are all racing for the future. That is why Formula Zero is racing for the future. Working on the extremes of speed means questioning not only how fast we'll go, but what will propel us to those new limits. In Rotterdam, they already know. It's going to be clean, it's going to be fast, and it's going to be all hydrogen. So right now, the pinnacle of motorsport is Formula One, and what we're going to prove is that there is one step beyond one, and that is zero. So we're the next level of motorsports. Hello, I'm Chorus van Hardenboek. And I'm ASO van Raver. We're from Formula Zero here in the Netherlands. We think the fuel cell is really amazing, and we want to promote this technology, and we think racing is the perfect platform to do it. Want to show how cool hydrogen technology is? Then make a place for it in the most exciting sport, racing. And who says size matters? We built a go-kart as a stepping stone towards a full-size race class for fuel cell vehicles. 84.6. This is an, uh, just a manual checkup to be absolutely sure that there's no voltage leaking. My name is Eelke Rietveld. I'm the racing director of Formula Zero. Together with uh, Bo Ridder, our test driver, we are preparing this kart for the record tomorrow. And it's going to be uh, a race with Formula One cars and all kind of different race cars in the center of Rotterdam. Uh, next step will be the priming of the fuel cell. And we're going to show that this is the fastest fuel cell vehicle uh, in the planet. Just check uh, the boost cap. We have on the right side and on the left side of our cart this uh, boost caps, which really gives the cart acceleration power. Boost caps, also known as supercapacitors, are an automotive shot of adrenaline. Like a battery, they store and discharge energy. But unlike batteries, they do this very, very fast. The result? Rapid bursts of power which a race car can use, much like a slingshot on demand. So you can absorb all your energy, and then if you around the corner, you can release all your energy back into your motor, and then you're off again. 10, 15 seconds, it is fully loaded again. We want young people everywhere to say, hey, this is a cool idea, and this is something I want to be part of. This is my future. She's all ready to take off tomorrow. Ready. Is it a she? As they had thought, the city was overrun with people and loud, very fast race cars. Very exciting and tense moment here at the Braille City Racing event because it's been raining all day and suddenly the sun has come out. Their moment seems to have arrived, not to outrun the race cars of today, but to set the bar and give everyone who follows something to shoot for. The very first official speed record of its kind for the race cars of tomorrow. We should be um, going in about half an hour. We got a call from the safety marshals that the track is clear and we run near the first start line. Iso and Mio, they run to the other side and then we go. For all the world's greatest visionaries, altering perceptions and making history is a nearly impossible battle. At the last minute, the race planner decided there simply wasn't time for such an incidental event. We worked hard to, to set it up, and uh, so we're, we're really 
really disappointed. You know, the bigger the challenge, the greater the victory. So this also counts for uh, something like the Romania Zero. I, we won't stop. They didn't stop. Neither did the progressive city of Rotterdam. Two months later, Formula Zero got a second chance. Years of preparation for one eighth of a mile. But in those 11 seconds, something special happened that will reverberate for years to come. In 11 short seconds, a car the size of a go-kart took a giant step toward the race cars of tomorrow, the hydrogen-powered race cars of tomorrow. Official FIA record, 11.869. 38 miles per hour that will speed us into a hydrogen future. We've been walking around with this idea for maybe uh, two and a half years, and well, we did it. Racing with hydrogen fuel is just as fun and just as sexy as racing with petrol. Today was the first official record for this new category of racing. It's a challenge to the rest of the world. Do better than us. You may never race in Formula One, but when you're racing along in your own hydrogen car, you'll remember Formula Zero.